Smartphone screen refresh rates are becoming a big thing this year, and I've done many Antutu tests, but never one that shows the FPS counter. Well, that is exactly what I have for you guys today. Between 60Hz on the left to all the way on the right, 144Hz on the Nubia Red Magic 5G. Software has been updated across the board here, and we have the highest refresh rate settings applied, and all of them are matched at Full HD plus resolutions over here. We're going to be using Gamebench Pro here, the most accurate enterprise testing tool in the industry. Industry, check my description down below for more details. We're going to be using their respective game modes on each individual device over here, though there is no support for Antutu on the Black Sharks Shark Space, which is unfortunate, but we're going to see how it stacks out in the FPS front. Nevertheless, we have enabled the active fan on the Nubia Red Magic 5G. We have the same Antutu version across the board. Guys, this is Technic, and without further ado, let's go. We're gonna start here with checking out some battery percentages and degrees in Celsius at the start. So far, the hottest is the Redmi and the coolest is the Red Magic. Same thing can be said of CPU degrees in Celsius at the start of here. We'll compare that at the end. We're gonna be launching Gamebench Pro over here and going straight into Antutu version 8.3.6, starting them all at the same time over here. And I'm gonna pop the FPS counters at the bottom of the screen. It's also on the devices though I have cropped the same video and placed them under the screen. So it is slightly easier for you guys to see. Of course, it is slightly blurry over there because I've had to do quite a big crop with the iPhone 11 Pro Max camera that I'm using so far, but all of them are sitting around 35 frames per second in the first start of the Intuitu benchmark run over here. In version 8, it is quite graphics heavy and I have honestly never seen frames per second counted on an Intuitu benchmark run before. Let me know if you guys have encountered this before, but between 60, 90, 120 and 144 hertz displays, it's really interesting to see. Second part of the Intuitu benchmark version 8 run over here, you can see that the Red Magic and Black Shark 3 Pro are doing the best over here, mainly being the Red Magic 5G over there, sitting very close to 80, especially also the Black Shark 3 Pro. Going into the Terracotta Soldier, the third part of Antutu version 8, you can see I usually say that there is a lot of jitteriness, a lot of haziness, and it's kind of laggy if you ask me, and now we can prove it. All of them are sitting around 15, 16 frames per second on this third test of the Antutu version 8 run, and you can see why it is so laggy now. They are not pushing out the best amount of frames that you can see possible. We get a lot more frames later on, so stick around for that. Also have a few comparisons at the end of the test that I'll run through for you guys. I've also sped through certain aspects of the test so that I don't keep you guys far here all day. We're gonna get to the results very soon. Right after the Terracotta Soldiers run out, we're gonna look at the scrolling refresh rates of all the screens. We're gonna be moving on from this part three of Antutu version eight into the next parts. The next parts are not really graphic intense, but they mainly focus on memory, CPU, and user experience over here. All of them are doing pretty well in the frames department, pretty much hitting their max frame capacity over here. And when we go into scrolling, once again, very similar here, all of them hitting pretty much their max frame capacity, though the OnePlus is sitting at around 100 when scrolling, and the Red Magic around 130, around 80. It fluctuates a lot, but let's check out the battery at the end here. So we have the biggest knock on battery on the Red Magic 5G, and the least knock on the Redmi K30 Pro Zoom Edition. The Redmi is is the hottest over here but added the least amount in degrees Celsius and the Red Magic is the coolest with the OnePlus 8 Pro adding the most in degrees Celsius. When it comes to the CPU over here, the Redmi is once again the hottest and Red Magic the coolest. The Red Magic and the OnePlus 8 Pro added the most in degrees Celsius and the Redmi fortunately added the least in degrees Celsius. When it comes to median frames per second over here, average frames per second we get the highest 102 on the Red Magic, 60 on the OnePlus, very strange over there, 72 on the Black Shark 3 Pro and we get just 58 on the Redmi. When it comes to actual scores, first place, the Red Magic, second, the K30 Pro, third, the Black Shark 3 Pro, and fourth, the OnePlus 8 Pro, all very similar results over here. When it comes to CPU, first, the Redmi K30 Pro Zoom Edition, second, the Red Magic, third, the Black Shark, and fourth, the OnePlus 8 Pro. When it comes to memory, things are very similar over here. We have first in memory for the K30 Pro, fourth for the Red Magic, very strange over there. And then moving on to the next one, which is user experience, best on the Red Magic and worst on the K30. Very interesting over here. The best awards go towards the Red Magic with the best FPS and user experience, though the K30 Pro came with the best CPU, GPU, and memory experience. Guys, this is Technic. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.